What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I get the Surface Pro 11. That looks exactly like Surface Pro 9, but is it better than the Surface Pro 9? The answer is no, so if you want to skip, don't watch the video. <laughs> the answer is no. Let's find out what's wrong with the Surface Pro 11. Well, number one, so I did buy the most expensive one. Let me get this. I start with the most expensive one to test it out, see what's going on here, because this one is ARM chip, supposed to, the battery's supposed to last two days or whatever. I personally, I don't have any problem with the battery on the Surface Pro 9, but I don't use it much. So, and this one is a Snapdragon X Elite, so supposed to be the best of the best they have. It's not Intel, I love Intel, but they don't make it Intel, at least for now. 16 gigabyte RAM. And it's supposed to be the OLED. Well, let's start with the disaster. <laughs> Microsoft and OLED don't work together, my friend. The problem with the, which one? The problem with the one, I'm seeing some pixel that I cannot get over it. Like they're tiny pixels. I can't get, maybe you'll get used to it after a couple of days. <laughs> What's the point? I thought the whole OLED thing is supposed to be, um, you know, see like beautiful to look at. But let me see, let me show you here. VIP shop management. The good news, what I care about, which is extremely important, that VIP shop management can run on ARM um, uh, chip, which is crazy. We didn't do anything from our end. Uh, VIP shop management is eight x86 uh, application. Um, we can switch it to 64 uh, bit. That's not an issue. We we we've been running no tests on that, but it does not run on X on on um, sorry on uh, ARM chip. But Microsoft been trying to, you know, release ARM chips for the past literally 10 years and failed, 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 failed. But I think they succeeded this time because if my app can run, I'm sure like 50% or 80% can run. Gaming, I'm sure they're having some issue with the gaming. Um, but that's a huge step that they can start using uh, um, ARM chips in it which is pretty cool so i'm me i only care about can my app run is it faster this is the by the way this is the cheapest uh this is the i5 intel i5 this is the cheapest uh surface pro 9 that i got but it's super fast so that's why i was like this one's super fast anyway is this one faster than the i5 yes but if probably if i get the i7 i don't know if they have an i9 version of it probably will be as fast or faster than this one. So my issue, obviously number one issue is um, that it doesn't, uh, the, the pixel, I can't get over that. So like 16, that's $500 more by the way. I believe the cheapest one with the Surface Pro 11 is, um, it's 900 so you can get one with 900 and i definitely definitely don't recommend the oled definitely because i'm seeing pixels unless something wrong with mine i'll double check on that <laughs> it doesn't i don't think so um uh, it runs vip shop management it is fast um you might have some issues with other apps i didn't see anything but i didn't test anything i only use vip shop management team viewer run <laughs> vip shop management run that's all i care about can you watch videos? Yes. Um, I might keep it for a couple more days. It feels faster. It's very responsive for sure. But the pixels, I can't get. Like my primary reason why I want to return it is the pixel E, number one. Um, I might even look into the LCD. But the other major issue, if I'm downgrading and I can't get the, the SIM card, might as well I'll get a... Can't believe it. I might even have to get a... A Surface Pro 9 with a SIM card because I just want the SIM card so bad. I already have a SIM card. I just want to use it on the go. Um, yeah, I, that me person, it's not for me. Surface Pro 11 is not for me, and I'm a big fan of Surface Pro. My customers know that it's not for me. I mean, I, I would go with the 9. I hope the 9 is it gets a little bit cheaper now, but. But the good news, let's just stay positive. <laughs> I don't like to be negative. Number one, it's not for me, but I'm so proud of Microsoft that they figured out how to make 
that x86 i know they've done it before but now we know it works because before it was glitchy um it works really really good i appreciate you so we don't have to rewrite the app to support arm it already does support arm chip that's a huge man and you know a lot of laptops obviously so it's not going to be just surface pro they're going to be using arm chip and vip shop management work another thing that was very important i I looked at all the resolutions and unbelievable. They keep changing all the resolutions on me, adding a couple numbers, right? Uh, it'll be like 240, 2400. Let's make it 2404. <laughs> so I had to pick up all these resolutions, make sure VIP shop management uh, support all these. We just added five more resolutions. And uh, another thing before I leave, if you have uh, a tablet or laptop or even a desktop, and your resolution is 1920 by 1080 or higher and VIP does not fit just email me the resolution and the scale and it will make it happen I don't want to see anyone that run VIP shop management and the resolution doesn't look good just email me anyway I appreciate you guys no do not get it get the Surface Pro 9 until maybe remember I, th I heard well, I'm not sure that the Intel will be making their own version um, then probably I'll check that out, that one out, but, uh, I'm happy that it's running. I'm happy that it's running good, but it's not an upgrade to the, from the Surface Pro 9 at all. I don't care what anyone else that said. It's not an upgrade. If anything, it's a downgrade. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.